Hello, it's Ryan again. Friday afternoon. Happy to be doing this video for the last one of the week. And I think, I'm hoping that this video is going to blow some minds, um, especially if you're a lead gen freak. Um, and look, who doesn't need more leads in their life, right? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to run you through how you can generate literally millions of email addresses and phone numbers from the internet without needing to buy leads from D7 Lead Finder and all these other fancy tools, Zoom Info and Lusha and all this type of stuff, right? You don't even need an account with LinkedIn or Facebook or anything, right? You can just find those information from Google, right? Because Google is the biggest scraper in the world. So if you don't know about a technique called Google dorking, make sure you do some research and educate yourself on Google dorking, right? Because the power of Google dorking is immense. You just got to know how to put it all together. So let me show you how to do it. So Google dorking is, you know, so when we do something in Google search, we can do something like this. So we basically parameterize a search, right? So we're saying... Um, go only to the site LinkedIn and find all of the people who have a job title software engineer from California who have an email that isn't containing the string of characters, Gmail, Yahoo, blah, blah, blah. So essentially a business email. Now, if we click search and enter, great. Um, here we go, right? Software engineer, Thomas Wang, Sean, you know, they're all there, right? Now, you might not always be able to see it directly in the search results, but I'm getting lots of pages of results because all of those URLs and those LinkedIn profiles have been indexed by Google. So Google has all the information. So how to do this at scale, you ask. Cool, I'm here to show you that, right? So I use a tool called TexAU, if you haven't used that before. Similar to Phantom Buster, I think it's better. There's a bunch of reasons why I think it's better, but there are differences between the two tools, right? One, it's cheaper. The concept of um, TexAU is that you have spices and recipes. So recipes is a combination of spices, right? And spices are individual raw materials that make up a recipe, right? So great analogy, makes a lot of sense. Let's have a look, right? So you can do a ton of stuff, right? But I'm not gonna do any of that, right? I'm just gonna create a new recipe from scratch, okay? What I've pre-built here is some spreadsheets, right? And what I do is I go, I want to search, you know, like GitHub for software engineers with these skills, with that, this email address, and then it constructs the URL for me. I've built templates for GitHub. I've done one for um, YouTube. We've got one for um, Facebook. There's one for Instagram, blah, 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 right? LinkedIn is my kind of thing, right? So I'm, I'm interested in doing LinkedIn. Because um, I'm in the B2B land, right? I'm in the B2B space, right? So anyway, TexAU. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Google search. So we're going to grab that. We're going to say, cool, I want to do a Google search, scrape the results. Then I'm going to do a search variable, right? So the search is going to be the URL in the spreadsheet. So actually, I probably need to insert that as a variable if it doesn't exist yet. So I'm going to add a new one. No, it doesn't. So we need to put that in leave the value blank so that it can be replaced later because we'll map it back. Um, don't need to change the language. la 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 no max count. Now, API. To get around the limits of anything, you can use a scraping tool with the API. So that gets around things like um, the capture images and all those types of things that are anti-robot. Um, so the API key, it gets stored as a variable. If you don't have a global variable, you don't need to do it this way. It's just a lot faster, right? So create a global variable, put your scrape API key in there. Now, if you're not signed up to that, it's pretty awesome. Scrape API, get it. For free, you get 5,000 free API credits, right? And we're not talking, that's not a credit per email you get. That's a credit for every scrape that you do, which is just insane that they give you 5,000, right? <clears throat> so there we go. There's an API key for the scrape. And then we're going to say, okay, well, where's the sheet for this? Now I'm going to give it this Google sheet. As you can see down the bottom, I've got a number of tabs. They do different things. 
So, this is a LinkedIn email and phone search. So, this is a North American one, right? So, I'm going to... That site, VP of sales. If I wanted to change that to anything else, right? Like, if I wasn't going after VP of sales and I was going after marketing manager, update it there, copy it down, off you go, right? I'll just keep with VP of sales for now for this thing. Email... I'm going to say, give me all of the business email addresses, right? So it's constructing the search that I want to do. The city is the only thing that's really changing for each of these searches here. Okay. Happy days. Most of the city's covered off. That's just an example. So make sure that it's publicly shared. Anyone with the link can edit. Great. Cool. Don't need to copy that link because it's a tab specific. I need to grab it from the URL. Go back to TextAU here. Paste it in. The search column is forgotten already. F. There it is. F. Does it have first row headers? Yes, it does. And then we basically just say um Execute one row per operation with a delay. And I don't need a random delay because I'm using the Scraper API, so that'll handle the proxy, whatever. Um, so one row per operation. So it's just going to smash Google with this search like every one second or something, right? It's going to generate like billions of results, right? So happy days. Submit the Google sheet. It's started. Take me to the results, right? And so you can see here, here's a log file. And, you know, it's saying, what have I got? Insufficient credits for this action or whatever, right? Blah, 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 blah. Um, here's one I prepared earlier where I haven't actually done this demo five times today. Um, so it runs the Google scrape. If you look at the results... I don't want to look at that one. Let's go to this one. Here's the result. Cool, here it is. 78 pages worth of results. I think this ran for about nine minutes before I hit some sort of limit. I need to go and update my plan. Um, but here it is, right? So all of these people, here's their email addresses. I wasn't doing a phone search on this one, I don't think. Um, oh, no, I was doing a phone search. There we go. So emails, phone numbers, business Emails, business phone numbers, right? And you can just let this run like all day, every day. It's using the proxy. It's using the scraping API or whatever, right? So you'd end up with like literally 100,000 emails on a daily basis or something like that, right? And then you just download it as a CSV and off you go. And of course, you could just build this to a zap to say, go and find new information, put it in my cold outreach, go. It doesn't, it's not limited here to LinkedIn, right? You can use Facebook, you can use Instagram, you can use Crunchbase, you can use YouTube. All of these templates I've built are available. The only way you're going to access them from me is if you go to my Facebook group, which I put in the description of this video. And then you can just post, tag me and ask me for the templates and I will give them to you. I'm all about the open sourcing but I do want to encourage that we start that open source community. So I'm not selling anything. I just want you guys to be involved in a more open source way. Um, and if you've got any questions, please join the group and ask me any questions about doing this process, right? I hope this changes someone's ability to do cold outreach at enormous scale. I mean, even if you were just going to create a massive lookalike audience for restaurant people, you would just run this process, go to Facebook ads, upload billions of personal email address for people that own restaurants and then serve them ads, right? Um, there's a lot of value to running this process. So happy Friday. Hope this was good for you. Any questions, let me know in the Facebook group. Otherwise, Stay frosty. Bye.